Most of us react to unpleasant experiences by blocking our feelings. That blocking can lead to pain or discomfort, or both. What? So, the big anniversary's coming up. It is. Now what do you get for someone that you've been seeing for 10 years? Their own place. Take a look around, let me know if I can help you with anything. I've got an anniversary coming up and I thought jewelry might be appropriate. Come have a drink with me. I can't, I've got things to do. Come have a drink with me. She's a 5'2 white woman who smokes in her shop constantly. She's sort of a hidden in plain sight type. Hardly anyone knows about her. She listens to what's going on in your life and based on what she thinks you need, she recommends a very specific piece of jewelry. Well, I don't believe in any of it. It's all quackery and humbug and charlatanism. I mean, you actually trust this woman with your well-being. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's weird, it's dumb. It is but... weird, yeah. Does this stuff ever cause, like, new problems? Because I feel like I'm going insane. Everything has side effects. So like what, like what, what kind of, have you, do you have, do you, like what kind of side effects? Do you believe in ghosts? No. What if I told you that I saw one? Would you believe then? No. You used to be feisty and passionate. You used to start little arguments just for the makeup sex. If I'm interested in him, that makes me wonder whether or not my relationship is still any good. What is the matter with you? You're making everyone uncomfortable. What are you guys doing later? I had a visit from an ex-boyfriend. You little slut. Not that kind of visit, like a Ouija board kind of visit. Oh. Yeah. You know how there's the worm at the bottom of Mezcal? It's kind of like that.